about abstemiousness, fear of Allah and importance of providing for the next life. Praise be to the one who follows praise with bounty and bounty with gratefulness. We praise him for his bounties as for his trials. We seek his help against these hearts which are slow to obey what they have been commanded but quick towards what they have been desisted from. We seek his forgiveness from that which his knowledge covers and his document preserves knowledge which does not leave anything and document which does not omit anything. We believe in him like the belief of one who has seen the unknown and has attained the promised rewards. Belief, the purity whereof keeps off from belief in partners of Allah and whose conviction removes doubt. We testify that there is no God but Allah, the one who has no partner for him and that Muhammad is his slave and his prophet. Allah may bless him and his descendants. These two testimonials intensify the utterance and raise the act. The scale wherein they will be placed will not be light, while the scale from which they are removed will not become heavy. Enjoining people to piety. O servants of Allah, I admonish you to fear Allah, which is the provision for next world, and with it is your return. The provision will take you to your destination, and the return will be successful. The best one who is able to make people listen has called towards it, and the best listener has listened to it. So the caller has proclaimed, and the listener has listened and preserved. O creations of Allah, certainly fear of Allah has saved the lovers of Allah from unlawful items and gave his dread to their hearts, till their nights are passed in wakefulness and their days in thirst. So they achieve comfort through trouble and copious watering through thirst. They regarded death to be near and therefore hastened towards good actions. They rejected their desires and so they kept death in their sight. Then this world is a place of destruction, tribulations, changes and lessons. As for destruction, the time has its bowl pressed to readiness and its dart does not go amiss. Its wound does not heal. It afflicts the living with death, the healthy with ailment and the safe with distress. It is an eater who is not satisfied and a drinker whose thirst is never quenched. As for tribulation, a man collects what he does not eat and builds wherein he does not live. Then he goes out to Allah without carrying the wealth or shifting the building. As for its changes, you see a pitiable man becoming enviable and an enviable man becoming pitiable. This is so because the wealth has gone and misfortune has come to him. As for its lessons, a man reaches near realization of his desires when suddenly the approach of his death cuts them. Then neither the desire is achieved, nor the one who desires is spared. Glory to Allah! How deceitful are its pleasures, how thirst rousing its quenching, and how sunny its shade. That which approaches, i.e. death, cannot be sent back. He who goes away does not return. Glory to Allah! How near is the living to the dead, because he will meet him soon, and how far is the dead from the living, because he has gone away from him. Certainly nothing is viler than evil except its punishment, and nothing is better than good except its reward. In this world everything that is heard is better than what is seen, while of everything of the next world that is seen is better than what is heard. So you should satisfy yourself by hearing rather than seeing, and by the news of the unknown. You should know that what is little in this world but much in the next is better than what is much in this world but little in the next. In how many cases little is profitable, while much causes loss? Certainly, that which you have been commanded to do is wider than what you have been refrained from, and what has been made lawful for you is more than what has been prohibited. Then give up what is less for what is much, and what is limited for what is vast. Allah has guaranteed your livelihood and has commanded you to act. Therefore, the pursuit of that which has been guaranteed to you should not get preference over that whose performance has been enjoined upon you. But, by Allah, most certainly the status is that doubt has overtaken and certainly has been shattered, and it seems as if what has been guaranteed to you is obligatory on you, and what was made obligatory on you has been taken away from you. 
so hasten towards good actions and dread the suddenness of death, because the return of age cannot be hoped for tomorrow, as the return of livelihood can be hoped. Whatever is missed from livelihood today may be hoped tomorrow with increase, but whatever is lost from the age yesterday, its return cannot be expected today. Hope can be only for that which is to come, while about that which is past there is only disappointment. So fear Allah as he ought to be feared, and do not die until you are a true Muslim. The Holy Quran, Chapter 3, Verse 102